Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have another installment of Bookends, the series on my channel where I put an end to all of the unread books on my shelves. So this is, I guess, 12? Is this number 12? We're gonna say this is 12. You'll see what number it is in the title, um, but I think this is 12. And so this is everything that I read from my physical shelves or brought in to my physical shelves either by buying it myself or as received as a gift from someone else um, from October to December of 2023. Now, as you know, <laughs> December had Christmas in it and I got Christmas gifts. And so I don't know how far from grace I have fallen yet, but we're gonna find out together. Um, cause I thought I was off to a good start and then I, I, oh, it gets a little iffy around there. If you're new to this series, I have a playlist of all of them, but also I'm not going to go into depth about any of these books in particular. If I can remember where I talked about some of these books, I might, I'll try to link it down below. Um, I'm also not going to talk about what these books are about because you know, and I know that I don't know what half of the books are that I got are about. And you think I'm going to read a synopsis? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go in and see what happens. It's always fun that way. But let's just get right into it. So I started off with 133 books um, last we met. And I think I was a little over whatever that beginning status was. So I'm hoping that I'm around 133 we shall find out. But in October, I got or received Sunlit Man by Brandon Sanderson. This is a part of his secret project that he did for 2023. I also went to get Friday Black by Nana Kwame Ajay Brunya, The Last White Man by Mawson Hamid, All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby, Nana by Brandon Massey, and Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. That was everything that I picked up in October. And then October brought so many good things. It was black Halloween. I asked Brie to choose my TBR for that month. And then I got to meet up with a bunch of fantastic, fantastic booktube friends. And so that was fun. So of course I read things, right? So first up, I asked Brie to choose my TBR. I had three prompts where she had to choose something for my unread TBR, but then the other two prompts, she didn't have to. Um, but one was for Black Queen because I wanted her to pick a book for me for Black Queen. Of course, why wouldn't I not have the creator choose a book for me? Anyway, but from my read TBR, she chose Conjure Woman by Afia Adekora, Long Division by Kiese Lehman, The Personal Librarian, by Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. And then for the two books that she picked for me that were not on my TBR, um, I ended up buying because I, I figured I would want to have them. The first one was Invisible Man, which I did end up DNFing. But I think one day I will come back to this and explore it a little bit more. And then the other book was the book that she chose for me for Black Halloween, which was Nana by Brandon Massey. Also for Black Halloween, which something she did not pick, I picked up Lakewood by Megan Giddings. This ended up being in one of my top six of 2023. And then because I was meeting up with all of my very good booktube friends, Ray and I were driving together. And so we were listening to Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Morena Garcia on our way up and back to our cabin trip. And I, of course, had a fantastic time. It's Sylvia Morena Garcia. I was going to say, how could I not have a good time? But I I have had not a good time with her. You can watch my vlog on when I read three of her books to see if she was going to be an auto buy for me. So that was October. So I think I'm like off to a good start. Then came November and I'm actually very proud of myself. I did not buy a ton of things, but also I don't know what I was doing in November, but I wasn't reading anything from my bookshelf. But one thing I did get was Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros wish I hadn't. But I did end up also reading it 
in November. And so that's a one-to-one. -one. And I, I really need to go back and look because I cannot believe that this was the only book from my physical TBR that I read all of November. Like, what was I reading? What was I doing? So then we transition into December where I was like, I need to read some things and I needed to read some things because I had already set some deadlines for myself. There were some things that I could not bring over into 2023 with me. Um, I had been reading Throne of Glass series since I want to say 2021 and I, it was just time. We just needed to get it over with. And so I started Tower of Dawn. I didn't finish Tower of Dawn. I never even wanted to read this. I should have just skipped it. But I read it, kind of. I got like halfway, and then I had Steph tell me what happens in the rest. And then I finally, finally finished, because I read Kingdom of Ash. So I am now officially probably done with Sarah Jamie. I just, I don't think we need to go together anymore. Now, I'm not saying that this was a bad series. Otherwise, I would have DNF'd this earlier. I actually really, really enjoyed the series overall. This one, not my favorite. But yeah, I think we I think we just need to call it quits. You know what I mean? That was that done. This is my bind up of all of the Death Note of all of the Death Note volumes. And I actually only count this in my like list of unread books as one even though there are 12 volumes in here i counted this as one um and so i read volumes 11 and 12 and thus completing all of this um obviously i don't hold this up a lot because it's heavy she is thick um but yeah i'm finally done with this series also had a very good time. And so those are two series that I told myself I needed to complete by the end of the year. And I did it. Other things that I read in December, I picked up volume two of Promised Neverland. And I'm just so mad at myself that I don't have other volumes here so that I could just keep reading because I put this down and I was just like, I immediately, I need more. I, I need to keep going. So this is something that I will be working through in 2024. Ray, Jess, and I had a buddy read, and we were reading Before I Let Go by Ryan Kennedy. And then I was like, I need to read some things. I didn't have any like definitive reading plans in December except to finish those two series. And so I was just like, oh, well, let me read some things that I have on my shelf. So I picked up Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Um, I have all of the books in the series, and so therefore I read Geekerella, The Princess and the Fangirl, and I started Bookish in the Beast and I quickly DNF'd. I think I was just over the, the con-ness of it all. So that was that whole series done. Just look at me clearing series off of my unread TBR. That was everything I read. Now, I did kind of go through some of my bookshelves and I was just like, what's not serving me anymore? What stuff that I do not feel like I want to either read or if I do, maybe I can get it from the library. And I have a couple of things. The first is Leave the World Behind by Rumen Alam. Um, I had not heard the greatest things about this. I think the premise sounds interesting. If I can remember, it's like people, there's something happening and then they're like the last kind of people until they find other people and they're like, what's going on outside in the world? But um, I also saw that this was on Netflix. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just watch the movie because it had Julia Roberts and Mahershala Ali, I think. And I was just like, this sounds like a great, great time. So I was like, I'm just going to watch the movie because I've heard not the best things about this. And then I heard not the best things about the movie. So I might just forego it all together. And if I ever decide to pick it up, I'll just get it from the library, but I am unhauling it. And then I'm also unhauling A Royal Pain by Rise Bowen. I got this at um, a Friends of the Library store and I thought I would be interested. And then I realized that this was the second in a series, which wouldn't necessarily bother me. I would, I could just go into this, but I, over time, I just realized I wasn't actually interested in this cozy mystery. And then two things, 
um, that I got. But they're both Donna Tart. It's the Secret History and the Goldfinch. I just don't see myself gravitating to these at any point. And so I am unhauling these. I don't, I don't feel bad about it. And that was everything that I read or unhauled in December. So then that's fun for me. Love it. Then it was time for Christmas and between friends and family, I got some things. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who got me gifts. That includes Alana and Ashley, Monet, Ray, Jess, Jashana, Dasha, my brother who got things off my wish list. And I was just like, how did you, how did you get this list? But shout out to my brother and my friend who got me gifts for Christmas. Just, it warmed my, my little heart. I appreciate it so much. Also, thank you to maybe a mysterious person who got me something, but it didn't come with like a card with like a little gift thingy in it. So if it's you, and I'll show you what book it is when I get to it. Actually, I'll just sh start there. So... I got this beauty, James Baldwin, the James Baldwin, James Baldwin, the fire next time, but it didn't have a note or anything. And I've shaken the book. I've shaken the package, nothing, but if so, if it was you, let me know. These are the other things I was gifted. I got the 1619 project, which I'm very excited about a little intimidated because it is a lot of text. Um, but I think it's going to be very informative and very interesting. I also got, Spy Family Volume 3 and Angels of Death Volume 1. I got two Emily Henrys and I have plans for these. I have People We Meet on Vacation and Happy Place. I got Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson, Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. Shout out to my brother for getting me the entire Nevermore uh, trilogy. Word of Kaigen by M.L. Lang. Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I don't know if you can tell, but I've already started reading this a little bit. The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. And My Soul to Keep by Tanana Reevedu. And with that, we come to the end. And if you're keeping up like I'm keeping up, which is not always the best keep up, I'm at 137, which is over what we started with. So, I mean, it's not terrible. But it's also not the greatest. I was really hoping to be under. You know, I thought I was going to go strong. I asked you guys where you thought I would be at in my last video. And a lot of you guys are saying like the mid-120s. And I am not there at all. But I will say, I started off the year with 143 books. And here I am at 137. So did I do a whole lot of damage? No, but I did read some. And that's the point, right? To really just read what I own. And am I doing a little better? Maybe. We could try a little bit more. Definitely cut back on the buying. I know I'm always like, I'm going to forgive myself for my birthday and, and the holidays, but I don't really need to buy myself 10 books for my birthday. I don't. And actually, if you've already watched my goals video, you know that one of the things I'm doing is only buying one book a month this year. And because I'm doing a low spend type of year. So hopefully I won't be bringing in as many books as I have this year anyway. And I'm hoping to get all of this down to 115 next year. We'll see. We shall see. But that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you for coming along on this journey where we never know we're going to end. I can't wait to see you for my next round of bookends at the end of March, beginning of April. And we'll see how I'm doing. Is there anything that you feel like I need to get to right away? Are there any books where you're just like, ooh, I don't think you're going to like it? Also, if you've read any of those Emily Henrys, tell me which one you think I'm going to like more. I'm just curious. And that's all I have for you today. And until next time, bye.